surveillance footage obtained exclusively by CNN appears to corroborate some of the allegations of abuse against music mogul Sean Diddy Combs. The video captured on multiple cameras shows Combs wearing only a towel, assaulting his then girlfriend, Cassie Ventura, in a hallway at a Los Angeles hotel in March 2016. Cassie Ventura at an LA hotel. This video triggered a federal investigation. A new video of the raid at Sean Diddy Combs' home in Los Angeles from the mother of one of his sons. This one, that son ended up in handcuffs. Agents also raided Combs' home in Miami last week. Here's some of the sped up uh, video from those raids. Criminal defense attorney Mark Iglarsh is based in Florida. He's standing by with his take on all of this. But first to chief correspondent Jonathan Hunt. Hey, Martha, we all saw the pictures of heavily armed agents from Homeland Security Investigations arriving at Sean Coombs' mansion here in L.A., but the first, for the first time now, we are seeing what happened inside. As the agents moved along the hallways, weapons drawn, guiding in, guided in part, it appears, by a drone. As they move in to detain two of Combs' adult sons, Justin and Christian, they have their rifles aimed at the pair. The edited video was posted on Instagram by Justin Combs' mother, Misa Hilton, who called the agent's actions overtly militarized and deplorable. Three states working in tandem, and they did not tell the officers who they were raiding. They went in tactical as they were instructed to. They didn't know they was raiding Diddy's house. The higher ups didn't tell anybody because they knew with Diddy being a, a fed informant that he had people in the force and they wanted to make sure that went through legit. So they ain't tell nobody whose houses they was going to. That's why you see the guns. The, the cops didn't know that it was Diddy's house over there in Beverly Hills around the corner from uh, uh, the Playboy Mansion. They didn't know until they seen the kids to the raid real quick with Diddy. Mm -hmm. um, his sons were there and he was not there at the house of um, yeah. And he was, was quiet. the worst part of that. And to see his sons being How hacked. How do you force your kids to do your perp walk? That was, the, that was the worst part. And all I could think about was Kim and Misa. Mm. The girls. Just, her son. He left their son to be walked out backwards on camera for the world to see. Sources claim Diddy has been operating a trafficking ring, importing young and underage women for his infamous parties, and allegedly filming them in compromising situations for his entertainment. My name's Ava. I'm a Scorpio. No, no, no. What's your last name? Oh, Ava Combs. What's your other oh. last name? Ava Barone. Ava Baroni Combs? Yes, it's, it was breaking news. Diddy adopted a white child. I want, you, I want you to tell them the story about how I adopted you. We, but you still have beautiful parents that, but you're my child also. But please, please tell the story. So, I was on the streets. <laughs> And then Papa Combs decided to, that he would like to be a caring man. So then he saw me and decided to pick me up and said to come inside and play with his kids. kids and everybody else adopted kids Charlize Theron everybody's ever adopted Sandra Bullock I adopted you because I felt that you could you know um enjoy also having a black parent to take care of you and help you out so um um just clarify because it's, it's crazy out here online so, so <laughs> I, I played with the kids and I got permission from your mother Say all of that to just make it it's crazy out here. Um, well, I met Jesse and Dwyla when I was six months old. Six months. Yeah. And six then months. we basically are sisters, all <laughs> four sisters. of us. So. Six months is great. I always come over. Yes. And, 
and it's Ava Brioni Combs. Come on. There are claims that Jay Z is intricately linked to Diddy's operations. The first time I ever saw Jay Z or even heard him spit a rhyme was at an MC battle, street battle in New York. He showed up as the nigga that was with Big L. Yes. Big L was who put Jay Z on. And then Big L died, and then the next thing you know, Jay Z doing songs with Biggie and building a working camaraderie with Honeycombs. And then. Biggie died, Tupac died. There was the, the, the fight between who was the top rapper now, Nas and, and Jay-Z. And then the next thing you know, Nas has a nervous breakdown and he's taken out of the game and then saw Jay-Z. He will slump anyone in any relationship for a dollar. Look at how he did Dane. If you're a halfway intelligent person, when do you start questioning how lucky some motherfuckers keep getting? Right. When Jay I say Corey, I'm talking about Kathy White. Oh, yeah. That's what I was about to ask. Uh, Jay-Z's Jay pregnant Z's, mistress yeah. who died of an imaginary fucking aneurysm. Just like the woman who was best friends with Kim and Kimura who wrote the book Bling and died as soon as it made the bestsellers list. Who the fuck was these people supposed to go to? You can't go to the boss because the boss is fucking you. And the boss is boss? Don't get no fuck. Can't go to the authorities. They're all bought and paid for. Fuck you go when you get fucked over by the industry. Nowhere. That's where you go nowhere, which is where people like me step in. Chris Brown has added to the controversy. We get into the office. So we do the performance. Like we nervous, but we just do the shit. Boom, all right. He said, yeah. I like this too. I don't like this light skin nigga over here. This little nigga over here. Fuck down. I am home. Mm. I said. That's just <laughs> melted in that goddamn office at two. I said, look, I'm mean, fucked up. And you're 12 years old. <laughs> yeah. But so uh, look, I gotta ask. Yeah. Your partner was dark skin. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you got this. I gotta ask. Yeah, my brother was dark skin. All right. So what? So how did the meeting go and then what did Diddy say? So I was like 11 or 12 okay. at this time. We went in there together and so he was just like, cool, cool. I but just, you knew who Diddy was, right? Being in the room kind of made me uh, made me like shaky. So I, don't, I probably was nervous. I would like you to clear something up. There's yes. a lot of uh, talk going on with oh. Chris Brown being at your place in Miami. Mm -hmm. you, you clearly have a lot of people going, why would you do that? And it's my house. Mm -hmm. You know, I think that we all have to be honest with ourselves. Can we dance? Yes. I would like to dance. Dance. Fifty Cent has once again emerged as the king of trolling. Fifty Cent posted on his Instagram, "Anybody seen Jay?" LOL. Buff said that Ninja ain't answering his phone. LOL. With a picture of a carton of milk saying "missing." Another post by Fifty Cent said, "Kasi settles lawsuit accusing Sean Combs of rape and abuse." He commented in the caption, "LOL. He paid that money real quick." Should have done that before the sharks saw the blood in the water. And here they come in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Every woman he put his hand on. He also posted a picture of the federal raid on Shandri Combs' homes with the caption, Shit just got real. The feds in all the cribs. Damn, they got the kids in cuffs. And he commented on a post regarding Diddy riding a bicycle, saying, You know there ain't no seat on that bike, right? He says <laughs> things, he doesn't even know what he's saying is like fruity. He says something fabulous and he goes, Yo, no, but me and you, we ain't party. Like, we need to party. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> when it's people say that to me, I get a little uncomfortable. <laughs> like, when you see, you see Jay the kids put his head down like... <laughs> Why we we stuck here right now <laughs> and the cameras is rolling. Everybody see, don't make like it's just me, man. <laughs> Why if you do some like, like a little fluffy stuff? Now you guys like he said he said something to me one time a long time ago. He told me to take me shopping. I looked at him like, what the f what the what you just say? <laughs> Let me move, man, before I do something. You gonna make me mess up the wet. That's Let me right. get out of no did, did you take me test to what a guy says tonight. to a girl. <laughs> Did you see that? Of course nah, I didn't see it. Nah, I didn't see it. You didn't see it? I swear to God. Uh, come yeah. on, man. You saw that whole world, y'all. And on the ground. Check this out. When they started playing the game, the pause game, I would definitely... That came from Harlem, too, by the yeah, way. Yeah, came from Harlem. 
I definitely would say some, oh my, ooh, the crowd would be like, what, did he just say that? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't play games, y'all know. You know what I'm saying? I'm a grown man, I don't play games. But um, yeah, did the you compilation, nah, I was, I was coming off of being in Miami at night of party, and I don't really remember what I was saying. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Would you like a reminder? Yeah, sure. Play some. Play. Play. Hey, yo, listen, yo, I, I love it all. I love it all, man. I like when you like this, Daddy. Yeah, yeah, where you put my bag? Daddy, yeah, I like when you when oh, you scrambling and scraping for no, no, no. shit. That was you scrambling. <laughs> <laughs> What? You said, I like when you do it like that, Daddy. <laughs> when you're scrambling and scraping for shit. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I don't know what I was talking about. Hey. Nah, nah. I mean, I was you don't caught, go back no, and no, look no. at that stuff and laugh. I mean, it's. I mean, it, it could be funny. I don't really be on it like that. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. like. <laughs> I'm you sure know, we can put Charlemagne's I, compilation against Diddy's compilation. We have a bunch. We put yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I, I also, I also don't do it because I know I'm, I know I'm bad at the game. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I know I say like reckless stuff out my mouth that's just not maybe you know adding up to with somebody who maybe somebody who's homophobic, but I'm not homophobic and I really don't you know care. You know what I'm saying? I just. But um, I'm bad at the game, and it's probably hilarious. I would love to see it. I would love to see the video compilation. It's hilarious. 50, yeah. 50 came up here, and he was giving you flack for the asking Fab to party. So you, he'll ask you, oh, he'll ask you to play it, play it, play the clip, man. Yeah, play the clip. Go ahead. Why won't you party with me for your birthday, man? I, I, we, we party for my birthday before. You came to my party. You know? No, but me, you ain't never really party, you know what I'm saying? I asked 50 about that. He said you did the same thing to him. You asked him to take him shopping. Yeah, I thought he needed some clothes. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm a nice guy. What the, what? Yo, what? I mean, why why are you and Fifth just... Hey, yo. Why y'all got... Hey, yo, I don't have no beef with, 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 with... I don't know why. With, with Fifth. He loves me. He loves me. Do y'all really can't have see a beef? It? I mean, y'all can't see no, it. No, we can't see it, Y'all can't see that he loves me? But see, you really... Hold on. You really think that's hate? You really... When you really break it down, you've been out here a long time. You know he loves me. I don't think he like it. You know he loves me. I don't think he likes it. Okay. But why? But why not? Y'all just y'all both passionate. Y'all both. I don't know. I, I, yo, check this out. I don't. I don't know. Like I don't. Both the same. No, we are not. Okay. We, we are not the same. <laughs> but I mean, we are not cut the way from the you same guys clothes. Work and work hard. Yeah, and 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 um, you know, I mean, I respect that. I don't. I don't never hit him with no, you know, nothing. I don't even think of no other man, man. All y'all is dead looking at that shit. That's why I don't be going to the puffy parties. Uh-uh. They can hug you from the front and the back at the same time. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I mean, look, if you're into that, you're into that, I'm fine with it. To each his own. I'm just saying this is my mother down the party. I'm like, it's uncomfortable. I think I belong in the girls' bathroom. When shit like that is going on. A nigga doing drugs in the ATL, the nigga at least excuse himself, go to the bathroom or some shit. Niggas in Hollywood just do the drugs right in front of you and act like ain't shit happened. You in the middle of a goddamn meeting. They, yeah, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the movie with you and then we're gonna, we're gonna go back. <laughs> nigga, did you know that I can see you? <laughs> nigga, you right there, it's on your nose, nigga. What? Motherfuckers be gay in Hollywood, you never fucking expected. They be having these big ass mansion parties and the mansion party, the whole mansion is a party and then it's a separate party in the little rooms. I ain't been famous that goddamn long. I'm excited in a motherfucker to be at the mansion party. You be looking in all the goddamn rooms and you fuck around and look in the wrong room and shit. Nick, come here, come here. Is that two niggas kissing? 
Is one of them niggas Professor Obi? All of these uh, big dick deviants is all catching hell in 2024. It's up for all of them. It don't matter if you Diddy or whoever you is. T.G. Jakes, any of them. The, all, every, all lies will be exposed. That's all. And, and, and anyone who takes that the wrong way know why they take it the wrong way. The truth is the light. And they have no more these. Amen, amen. But it is clear that in the world of hip hop, the drama is never far behind the music.